Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to end the confusion of how to read and understand and tell whether you have a competitive processing rate or not. Credit card processing statements can be really difficult to read and understand. Today when will give you easy to use formulas help you make the right decisions when choosing your processing rates. Here we go. First you will need two important numbers from your statement in order to make the first calculation. It does not matter if the statement is on tier pricing, interchange, subscription rate or flat rate or any style. All you need is number one the total processing volume and the total fees that are paid out. To find the total processing volume for the month go take out a statement and take a look at the statement the total volume will be either at the top or at the very bottom. Next look for total fees paid out. Go find these numbers now. Understand that the total fees that were paid throughout the entire month if you're on something called daily discount. That means you actually paid fees throughout the month. Okay when you look at the total fees section, it will say something like discount paid and then it will have remaining fees or it will say debit to bank account. Add both of those two numbers together. It's the total amount of money that you paid throughout the month. Sometimes the fees are not always on the statement. Sometimes the fees are going to be coming out of at different times of the month such as a terminal rental fee. There might be a subscription fee, annual fee, or something that was in the statement so be aware of this. So you really need to make sure that you are taking into account the total fees that were paid that month in order to process the credit card transactions on the statement. Now, once you have the total fees we're now going to look for the total processing volume. Now this number is usually found either on the very first page. It will be called total submitted or submitted volume or submitted transactions. It will be the largest number really on the statement, so it's pretty obvious which one it is. It could be a little confusing on that first page. Sometimes they'll have you know the total amount submitted and then it will say refunds and then it will say total amount deposited. Look for the total amount submitted you're looking for the biggest number the total processing volume. Now let's go to the second or third page and look for something called a card type. Summary report that will tell us what type of cards we have taken in you'll see names like Visa, MasterCard Discover, and XPIN Debit or similar. Next, I will explain to you easy method to quickly understand if your current rate is competitive for your industry and niche. Rule 1. Any effective rate below 2%. Regardless of business type your pricing is extremely competitive. Rule 2 If your average transaction is above $150 and you're doing big volume of debit cards your competitive rate will be below 1%. The Durban Law. The Durban Amendment, which makes a 22 cent per item fee on about 0.85%. That's less than 1%. This is the average that you should be paying when using PIN debit. If you're processing, you know a $500 transaction. Who cares about $0.22 cents right if you're processing a $1 transaction? Well, that's 22% of the transaction. So that $0.22 cents matter a lot more when the average ticket size is below about $15. When you get below $15, you should expect to see an effective rate that is a little higher on that statement. Okay, so that's 3%. Once you get up about 4 to 5%, unless your average ticket is below $10. If your effective rate is 4% or higher even 31-2%, but in that range there is almost certainly some potential savings. Now you're ready to click the button below schedule a call back time for one of our nationwide agents can contact you listen to you and give you the best rate plan option for your business. Thanks.